Welcome to Straight Outta Compton's Kitchen. Well, guys, um, the ribs turned out excellent from what I can see. I'm not tasting, but I remember how to season them and all of that. So, um, I got up at 6.30 this morning, preheated my oven at 400 degrees. At 7, I turned it down to 300 degrees, and then I put my ribs in the oven. Around 12.30, 1 o'clock, which was like six hours later, I um, took off the jalapenos and the onions and the bell, paper, bell pepper. I discarded all of that and um, put my sauce on, and then I put it back in the oven for about two hours so that it would finish cooking. So I'm gonna show it to you here so that you can see how it's just falling off the bone. I've kind of lowered my light so that you can see. All right, here we go. All right. So what I also did was I took the ribs and put them in a smaller dish, and then I put the uh, sauce on and put them back in the oven. Now, why did I do that? I did that because the dish that the ribs were were cooking in was entirely too big for me to take to my mom's house it's going to be too heavy so i decided to put it in a smaller dish with the sauce put it back in the oven for about two hours and so i just want to show you how this meat is just so tender do you see this? Do you see what I'm talking about? Yes, that's what I'm talking about, that part. All right, so I love you guys. Please, please, please do the right thing. Um, put on your mask. I'm getting ready to mask up. Go over to my parents' house. I'm keeping my mask on today because mm -mm, too much is going on, okay? I'm keeping my mask on and I'm gonna find me a corner and I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna put my mask right back on. I'm sorry about my big hand and everything, but just wanted to see your eyes, let you see my eyes, let you know how much love I have for God's people and for my Facebook and my uh Facebook family, family and friends, all of God's people. This land was made for you and me. So please continue to have peace in the midst of the pandemic, faith in the midst of the floods and the fires, hope in the midst of the hurricanes. I heard that there's a thunderstorm headed on the East Coast towards North Carolina. So Carol, if you're listening, Vern, if you're listening, praying for you. Continue to have trust in the midst of the thunderstorms, strength in the midst of the storms of life, period. And don't allow anybody to jack you for your joy. All right, have an excellent day. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, which starts on the 26th, and happy Holy Days.